five wedding mistakes to avoid as a guest. Hello, my name is Katarina. I'm a Western etiquette instructor and I help you refine your manners at a dinner table in business, but also in social skills. The wedding season is just behind the corner and I decided to dedicate the next couple of weeks to wedding etiquette so we can make sure that we sail in and out of the upcoming wedding season with memories worth remembering. So let's get straight into it. Mistake number one, arriving late. I cannot stress this more. Arriving late does not only put stress on you, but also on the newlyweds, as it affects the agenda and also create embarrassing moments when you have to tiptoe around into an already started ceremony in the church or at the venue. It's always better to arrive well in advance than late. And don't get me wrong, I know that accidents happen, sometimes traffic happens, but it's really important to plan your day well in advance to make sure that you are there in an appropriate time. Mistake number two, wearing white. And by white, I mean white and shades of white, such as cream, beige, off-white, ivory, or even light gray. White is a color that is solely reserved for the bride, and unless the newlyweds requested this specifically in the invitation, white is never the color to wear as a guest to a wedding. During a wedding, the newlyweds, and the bride specifically, wishes to be the star of the show, and by wearing white, we could actually attract too much unnecessary attention on us. Oftentimes, I keep getting a question from you. Katerina, I have a beautiful white dress with pink, big flowers. Is this still considered a white dress? Well, I have a little trick for you to go by. If you look at the dress and you would still describe it as a white dress with the florals or with stripes, it is still predominantly a white dress and I would suggest not to wear it at a wedding. You can, of course, wear it on a different occasion. Mistake number three, getting too drunk. And don't get me wrong, coming from Eastern Europe, I know that alcohol is an inherent part of many celebrations, including weddings. However, there is a huge difference between sprinkling a little bit of champagne to celebrate the occasion and getting a blackout drunk and dance on the tables. Getting too drunk could uh, potentially cause a scene or uh, embarrassment and also cast a light on us that we don't necessarily wish to have. Just remember, the newlyweds are the star of this show and they deserve to have most of the attention on them. Because after all, we don't wish to become the main character of funny stories that are being told over and over again, or even worse, a persona non grata on the future weddings. Mistake number four, discussing sensitive topics, especially about religion or politics. Now, I fully understand that sometimes it is interesting and thought-provoking to start a debate. However, weddings are not the place to do it. During a wedding, many types of people from different types of cultural backgrounds meet and they are there for one purpose to celebrate the newlyweds in a joyous, loving way. Starting a debate that could actually escalate to an argument, especially about politics, religion, or any other sensitive topics, is highly inappropriate and could cause a scene that we don't wish the newlyweds to experience. Just remember, enter the venue with an open mind because we all met there for only one reason, and that is to celebrate those who just got married. And mistake number five, bringing an unannounced plus one. Usually on your wedding invitation, it is going to mention whether the invitation extends to a plus one, whether it is a husband, a partner, girlfriend, or whether the invitation applies solely to you. Bringing an announced guest could cause uh, unnecessary troubles for the newlyweds or for the wedding planner, as there might not be enough space, there might not be enough drinks or food for a person they did not count with on the list. And even more importantly, the newlyweds decide with whom they wish to celebrate their big day. So bringing a guest they might not know or they didn't wish to invite is highly rude and inappropriate. You might want to ask beforehand whether you can bring someone along, but usually the invitation is pretty straightforward. If it mentions a plus one, you are very welcome to bring a plus one. And if it applies only to you, well, you are the only guest who the newlyweds count with. So these were my top five wedding mistakes as a guest that we should all avoid if we wish to experience a beautiful, joyful wedding season, because we never know when we are the ones standing in front of the altar and we don't wish these things to happen to us on our big day.
If you like this video or if you wish to learn more about etiquette, elegance and manners, please like the video, comment or subscribe to my channel as it really helps my channel to grow. Thank you very much and I wish you a beautiful day and a drama-free wedding season.